Hi, this is Deb from BusinessBuildingShortcuts.com and this video is about creating news alerts in Google and having them feed into your RSS feed as well as being able to bring in Twitter feeds uh, searches that will feed into your Google Reader so that they will be intermixed with um, any RSS feeds that you are already pulling in. And for this one we have created our own separate Deb Niche Gmail account where I'm going to be pulling in all kinds of information about the niche markets that I'm investigating or maybe working in and then I'm going to be able to not have them feed directly into my main email because they get awfully distracting in there. I'll find stuff that I want to read as it flows past my eyes and I can easily get distracted and drawn off task for hours at a time. Here I can set aside a time to come in here, very focused time, to review the information that I have pulled all into this one spot. And things that you might be using this for are you could be collecting information about things you would want to blog about. You could be looking at stuff to tweet about, writing articles about. The other thing that you can use these for is once you get out there on the internet you are going to want to monitor comments that are made about you and your website, your name and your website, tweets that are made about you, your website and your products, so that if you do see information that you need to respond to you can do it quickly. So you would set up news alerts and I'll show you that in a second with your name, your business name, your URL, your product names and you would also set you could set that up in Twitter as well. The other thing you might want to do is set up news alerts on keywords that you use so that anytime something comes across the internet news systems, videos, audios, you'll be able to pull that information all into this one spot and it will put you miles ahead of your competition because you're going to be able to see what's happening in your market at the time that it happens. So let's go first and set up a Google News Alert. So you want to go up here in Google Reader and click More and when that opens up you can see there's lots of things and you want to go down to the bottom and click Even More. And the first thing that shows up for you on that page is alerts. So click on that and it will come to the Google, Google Alerts creation page and you can enter any topic you wish to monitor. You can put your name in there, any of those things that we talked about. For this example, I would like to monitor pay-per-click. So I'm going to put PPC and then the next choice you get is do you want just news, which would come across the news networks? Would you want to just bring in information when there's a blog post about that term? Do you want to look across the whole web? Would you like video or groups? Comprehensive means I want all of this. I want to know what's going on there in all of these areas. So I would choose comprehensive. Then the next thing you get to determine is how often do you want it delivered? If you say as it happens and you send it to your email account, which is one of your options as far as where to deliver it, it, you are going to get inundated with information and then you would manage it the way we looked at in a previous video, video how to put up labels. It's going to be much more efficient if you use a comprehensive once a day report or once a week report and instead of that you bring it into your RSS feed. It's just that easy to set up. You would click on create alert and it's done. Now when you go back to your Google Reader, it's not going to show up yet. And the reason it won't show up yet, here I am back in my Reader, is that you've asked for it to come in once a day. And uh, so it's going to go out on the net and then once a day it will deliver all that information to you. So that is how you would set up a Google Alert by email. I set one up earlier so that I'd have one to show you. So here is one that I created for autoresponder. And if I click on that, it's going to bring up the emails. It'll bring up all the information uh, that I set up. And I actually use the search term email manager because that's a term that many people search on when they're looking for something like an autoresponder.
So this would be um, different pieces of information. It might be press releases. Could be all kinds of information. But I can quickly scan down and see what is going on uh, in the world of email management. Now that's how easy it is to set up a Google News Alert. The next thing I want to do is create one of these, a Twitter search, and bring that also into my RSS feed. So I'm going to stop the video for a second and I'm going to go log into my Twitter account and show you how this works. Okay, here I am at my Twitter account and what I want to do when I log in is click on this little home button and it will take you to your home where you can type in what you're doing and to set up a search in Twitter that will make will feed into your RSS feed scroll down to the very bottom and click here on the text link that says search and again what you want to do is make sure that you have your Google Reader or Google email account into which you want to send this feed open on your desktop. If you have a different account open, if you have more than one Gmail account, it will go into the feed for whatever account you have open. So double check that. I've had to go in and fix that quite a number of times. So here we are at Twitter search. Click on advanced search and it's going to let you search in a variety of ways. You can search for feeds with all of these words and you can just list a number of words, a phrase, any of these words and then you can also do a negative search, um, a hashtag search, you can search for tweets from a particular person to a particular person or about a particular person and this is where you could enter your Twitter name or your name so that you would be able to search and see if you were being tweeted about and then there's more information you can set up. For right now, I want to go back in here and set up a Twitter search on autoresponder. And you could put that under all the words, phrase, or any of these words because it's just one word. So the next thing you would do is indicate whether or not you wanted to um, go back, how far back do you want to go, and how many results per page. Then you want to just go ahead and click on search and it's going to bring up for you a whole bunch of tweets that have, as you can see, the bolded word autoresponder, tweets about autoresponders. And up here you see feed for this query. You can click here and send it to your Google Reader feed or you could click up here in the URL subscribe to this page. Either one of these will bring that into your open Google Reader and it asks you home page or reader and we're creating a Google Reader for this account so you want to go ahead and click on Google Reader and there you have it. Now you're back in the Google Reader, Deb Nage, the one that we were in earlier and you see that I've subscribed to Autoresponder, Twitter search and it should show up over here. Now sometimes it will come back up and ask you again if you really want to subscribe and indeed I do. Now for this particular feed I want that also to be fed into my autoresponder folder. So I would just click on feed settings after I've selected this feed. See how I'm looking at just this one feed? Go up to feed settings, go to autoresponder, and see how it shifted it over here now? So that we now have this Twitter feed on that Twitter query for autoresponder will come in and it will um, show up right here. So if I clicked on autoresponder and I said I want to see everything that's in there, I now have a mixture of um, Google Alerts. Well actually my Twitter feeds aren't in there yet because it's still coming along. But that's where you would go to check them. It's just that easy to set up a Twitter search and have it sent to your Google Reader. So that's some of the really easy ways to manage incoming information about niches and markets that you may be already working in or interested in getting involved in. And so um, I hope that you find that helpful and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.